all right guys welcome back to detailing with gary here this is going to be part two on the 2016 cruise we're going to be cleaning that shift knob and then just the cup holders and then by a radio and stuff and then also how to basically protect it since that total interior cleaner has a protectant against uv rays and all that so let's get right to it all right guys so this is basically what we're looking at that's the cup holder area and then that's their radio and stuff so we're going to be cleaning it with their detailing brush and then the total interior cleaner all right guys first things first we're going to grab our spray cleaner we're just going to spray two right there kind of shake it up a little bit we're just going to work here here and here for right now just spray the, a light one right there since it's elect electrical components and then right here there's a whole bunch of dust and stuff and grime and then spray somewhat on your thing and then just basically work inside here and then you want to be careful on your edges if you have like a sharper one this one is plastic so it won't harm or damage anything but then i'm just basically here since you guys really can't see but i'm just basically going in circles and then just kind of get this exterior part and then as it kind of dries out and stuff you can also as you go i like to use these because they are disposable so then i try to cut most of the sun out here so that way i like to use these because they're disposable and then you can just throw them away after you're done so i'm just gonna do a quick little wipe here just to get most of that out of there flip it to a clean side and then just keep reusing it as you can see right there if it focus all that dirt flip it over to a nice clean side have it ready so now we'll do a second pass right there but this worker area in here so now that we basically got it agitated inside here now we're gonna since it is dirty we're gonna go back to that dirty spot and just get all that grime out of there all the disgustingness out of there and then back to that dirty sign get all that you can use a microfiber towel but really they just get dirty and then i just like to kind of reuse things you should wear gloves but this one ain't really too dirty so we're just going to give it that nice clean so then after you're basically done doing that first pass just again kind of wipe it off on something where there's some microfiber towel and stuff and then again get it nice soaked again You don't need crazy sprays. Now this product is gonna basically protect it against UV rays. But I mean, if you have stuff in here, that stuff will kind of block it from the sun, but on the exterior part, you kind of want to protect all those components. So then this one again wasn't too dirty, so we don't gotta do some crazy scrubbing. And then we're just going to leave it basically as that. And then we're going to take our other clean side, as I mentioned. These cup holders, as you use them, they get kind of not ugly. But if you don't maintain things, they 
it just start to dry and then stains happen and then it's a lot harder but as if you clean your car once in a while that's way better than to clean it every year or whatever so just to kind of show you guys right now after you're basically done if you have a garbage bag in your car just kind of put it off to the side in your bag so that way you don't kind of spread anything else all over the place so then now moving on to where basically our leather thing so since this is leather if you don't have that leather cleaner you could still use this one but if not i would recommend the for you to get this leather cleaner that we used in our other video so then right here we got leather so we're going to be using it on the leather here and bind it. so then basically just getting all that dirt up out of here this is where you usually grab your car all your oils and your hands all that dirt and stuff this is where it basically comes from and then if you could lift it up the better if you can't really get into those cracks just take the rag or something so then as we basically clean this part here just basically try to do your best if you can't get into those cracks and stuff over here there's the dirty spots and then once again get a nice clean new one that one ripped right there which is okay just kind of fold it in half And then this one isn't greasy, so that's an advantage. And then just make sure you basically dry it all out. microfiber would probably work best but again if you have a thousand or a whole bunch yeah go ahead and use them but just cheaper way disposable two dollar rags that will last you a whole bunch this huge roll you just throw them in the trash once you're done which is a lot simpler so now we're going to be moving on to our dash up here so then for this right here we're just gonna grab, since this is radio components and stuff, and it has all those electrical wiring and all that, we're just gonna be spraying it on the rag and stuff. So, total interior, couple sprays, it's a mist, and then just basically going over all their components here. Get all those greasy knobs out of there. All those fingerprints. So now that's basically protected. And then you could also use this on your dash. So we're gonna go ahead and use it on our dash. It is kinda hot today, so. We're just going to be doing this side. As we can't reach over to that side. And then just basically as you get dirt and stuff, flip it over to a clean side. And 
then I was looking a lot 10 times better than what it was. So now we're gonna show you guys these results. All right guys, so this is our middle console area. We got it as clean as possible with your keys and stuff. That all gets scratched up, no problem. Right here is still a little bit wet for the most part, it's pretty clean. And then right here, that cup holder, nice and clean. We kind of miss a little spot right there for drying. That's no problem. And then we got our leather thing clean here, along with this. Our dash, nice and clean, no more fingerprints. And then we got our dash clean, nice and clean. Hopefully you guys liked today's video. Leave a comment down below for futuristic videos you might want to see, or if you like this one, leave a like button. And then subscribe for more content. And see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.